All right, we've got the second episode of May, and we're back in Los Angeles, and the first skater on the tape is Shallow. And he's skating a spot with James Craig, and it's this uh, recycled plastic bench. Isn't it funny how like a normal person knows where to be in the way? I think this guy wanted to do it on purpose, but it's pretty funny how they just end up being in the way. Looking back at these tapes and seeing this older guy with the coat, I should have done something, you know, with him. Like I should have made some sort of artsy shots happen or something, you know, shot it on film or something. But I didn't. I actually think that a lot of like that zooming and panning away uh, started a lot with Shiloh. Shiloh didn't skate particularly fast. I would notice that if I would like whip pan out or whip pan in, it would really help like the speed of things and like help get the viewer like into the shot or get the viewer out of the shot. Possibly if someone tic tacs or like lands sketchy, then I was gonna be able to like whip out of there and maybe the viewer wouldn't notice that like they tic tac or like did something kind of sketchy. I noticed Shiloh has his sweater back on now, and that probably means that Sue asked him to put his white sweater back on because he's wearing black, and in sequences or in photos, that wasn't going to look too good. Watching these fisheye clips, that means I'm filming left-handed, or maybe I'm filming right-handed for the first time, I'm not sure. It's so perfect. The one he makes is like the worst filmed one. <laughs> So this is interesting, we're at this hubba and I have a, a elbow brace on so I know I'm super weak and just trying to figure out how to like film again. This tape that's, that you're watching is like a static shot so I lost the tape. It's the only tape I've ever lost and it had Leo's backside nose grand revert on it. this gap. I think this is in City of, City of Industry gap. Leo just kick flipped it. Tried like nollie 180. Tried a couple front side flips and then that was it. He didn't want to do it anymore. All right, we got Shadow here trying this no comply flip off this parking block over this wall that we found in Victorville. You know, watching like Leo give him water right here. Yeah, I got kill it. Yeah, no more. Their camaraderie and their age gap was something that I really liked about filming for Transworld because you get a really cool mixture of old and new. Oh. Right here. That's lottery. Straight lottery. Ah, <laughs> oh, switch. And switch. <laughs> Watching Shiloh skate the spot from day to night made me realize that oh. being a filmer is all about how much time are you willing to dedicate to get a trick. I think that filmers take on doctor hours. That's the way I looked at it. Like you need to be available at all hours of the day. All right, got Leo here skating in Sacramento at that San Juan rail. All these tricks on the tape went down just like this. I think there might have been like one or two bales, and he, he just he rifled through all these tricks. Ooh. 
The front button took him the longest. And then, of course, you have Beeble, who's like the funniest person ever. I'm fucking insane. Are you feeling me? <laughs> How does he get down? Leo gets down. <laughs> Leo gets down. <laughs> Leo skating this rail at Davis, this back nose blunt. You can kind of see me practicing here. Like, if I pan out of the wall and kind of go into this trick, it'll make uh, cutting and editing easier because I'll come out of the wall, which means that I can cut into that wall with like the sky or the ground or a pole and then I can cut out of the, this trick with my zoom out that I always do. Leo is insane. He hurt his ankle and he's still fine. Beeple tells him he has it. Hey, watch, watch. The next go, he makes it perfect. And I filmed that definitely with like Heath Kirchhardt inspiration. That Heath Kirchhardt backside nose blunt at UCI from the back. Evil's awesome. Such a character. This Victor Rail, rail session, holy. And Leo was, he was super good at rails. Like it wasn't anything new that Leo could skate rails. In fact, that was kind of what you knew him for, really. I remember Atiba shot it. He's using a Hasselblad right here, but I'm pretty certain Atiba shot it on like a larger 4x5 camera. And I know it was a cover of a magazine. I don't know if it was a cover of Transworld or a cover of Board Mag, or I don't even know if Skateboard Mag was a thing then. But that lip side right there was first try. I filmed this lip slide on 16, and then I had just set up my camera, my VIX 2000 static up top for audio and for maybe in case the 16 didn't work out. I think I went through two tapes in this episode. Uh, one of these days I'll show you guys how my tapes look and like where they are and how I have logged them basically. Like I'll show you the log book and I'll show you the drawers I keep them in and stuff. Ah! That front side board I really scared him. But he did it second try. And that's it. I'll see you guys again in June for episode one. Leo gets down.